In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to connect your Google Developer account to your BuddyBoss app. Once you have connected your Google account, you will be able to sync your in-app products with your products in your Google Developer account and be able to submit the Android version of your app to be published through our publishing service. You need to have first set up your Google Developer account, which is covered in a separate tutorial. Once created, you can connect your account here on the Android settings page which is in the Configure section of the BuddyBoss app settings. Let's get started. The first you need to do is create your app in your Google Play Developer account. I already got this open here in a new tab. You can access this website by going to play.google.com slash console slash developers and logging in with the Google account used when you created your Google Developer account. Next, click the Create App button. Now, let's choose a name for your app listing. This is what your members will see when downloading your app from the Google Play Store. Let's enter My Body Boss app. Now, you need to select the default language your app uses. I'm going to choose English. Now, you need to specify if your BuddyBoss app is an app. And then, select whether your app will be available to download for free or requires a purchase beforehand. You can change this option up until your app is published. Let's select free. Now, check the boxes agreeing to Google's developer program policies and accepting US export laws. Then click on Create App. Before submitting your app for publishing, you'll need to enter more information inside your Google Developer account. These steps are covered in our publishing tutorials. Next, you'll need to create a service account key. Let's click Back All Apps. Go to the API access page which is under Settings, then Developer Account, API Access. If you haven't yet linked a Google Cloud project to your Google Developer Account, you'll be asked to select between linking an existing project or creating a new project. Once linked, click on the Create New Service Account. In the pop-up, click the Google Cloud Platform link. On this page, to proceed, we need to select a project. We have this one as the recent project. Let's click here. Then, we can create service account. Then, give it a name. It can be anything, such as the name of your app or business. Let's use My Body Boss app. Then click Create. Under Step 2, in the Select a Role drop-down, let's select Basic and then Owner. And then Continue. And then click Done you see the service account has been created. We now need to create a key for it. Click the three dots under the action columns and then manage keys. Select create new key from the add key dropdown. Make sure key type is JSON, then click create. This will trigger a download file. You won't be able to download this key again, so keep it somewhere safe until you've entered into the BuddyBoss app settings. If you lose your key in the future, you can always come back to this page to generate a new one. Now 
switch back to the other tab with the API access page. Click done in the pop-up. And you'll see the service account has been added. Now click grant access. Under account permissions, please make sure the following are checked. View app information and download book reports. View financial data, orders and cancellation survey responses. Manage orders and subscriptions. Create, edit and delete draft apps. Release to production, exclude devices and use play app signing. Release apps to testing tracks. Manage testing tracks and edit tester list. Manage store presence. Then click the invite user button at the bottom of the page. And then click send invite. Your API key is now active and ready to add. Let's jump back to the BuddyBoss app settings to upload it. Click on upload file. Then select the API key you downloaded to your computer. And then click on connect account. And there we go. The BuddyBoss app is now connected to a Google developer account. You can click disconnect account to disconnect from this account. For example, if you wanted to change the API key used or switch to a different account. Now that you are connected, you can proceed to configuring your Android app. This is covered in detail in our configure your Android app tutorial.